Hello guys, you're welcome back to Bisco Fashion. And if this happens to be your first time of visiting this channel, I want to welcome you especially. Welcome and thank you. Thanks for watching this video. So in this video, we are going to be drafting the basic bodice pattern, the half scale basic bodice pattern. So I have the full scale pattern on my channel already. So if you would like to to watch that also, you can check on my channel, you will see the full scale bed body pattern. So in this video, for the sake of this pattern, these are the things that we are going to be using. I have my ruler, my hammer cuff, my tape through, I have my scissors, marker, and my measurements. So these are the measurements we are going to be working with. I have the board circumference, the waist circumference, the shoulder measurement, shoulder to waist, shoulder to bust, and my bust pan measurement. I have the front half length and the back half length. So let's just get started. So on this table, I have my pattern paper already, and I've divided it into two, as you can see. So this side will be for the front pattern, while this side will be for the back pattern this is our center front while this is our center back and the line i have up here is the shoulder line which will be our starting point this is the shoulder line this is for the front while this is for the back so i would like to start with the front pattern first so that you can understand everything i'm doing very well so i'm going to be working with the front pattern all right, let's just start. So here, the first thing I'm going to be doing is to input my measurement. My measurement, I mean shoulder, my shoulder to bust measurement, which is 10.5, and my shoulder to weight measurement, which is 15. So I also want to mark it here so that I can have a straight line when I'm ruling. So this is my shoulder to bust and my shoulder to weight for the front measurement. So this is my bust line, Why this is my waist line. All right, so the next thing I'll be doing, I want to make the neck curve. So the neck is three by three inches, three inches neck width and three inches neck depth. So I want to mark three inches here also. I want to connect together to form a box so that I can make the curve nicely from there. I hope you are following what I'm doing. So that's it. So I'll make the curve with my hammer curve. So that's our that's our neckline. So the next thing I'll be doing is to impute my shoulder measurement. My shoulder is 15 and 15 divided by 2 is 7 and half. So this is 7 and half. So that's my shoulder. Remember, I'm starting from here. This is the center front line. I don't want to start from here. That's why I ruled out this line. So I'm starting all my measurements from here. And this is 7 and half for my shoulder measurement. Now I want to come down by 1 inch to form my shoulder slope don't forget we are working with the front pattern now so that's my shoulder slope so from here i will put my arm side measurement so to get your arm side measurement you will divide your bust circumference by six plus 1.5 inches so my bust is my bust circumference is 36 divided by six 
equals to 6 plus 1.5 is 7.5. So from this slope here, I'll mark 7.5 downward. I will also mark 7.5. Okay, I actually got that. So this is 7.5. 7 and half and I also went ahead to mark the 7 and half I have on this shoulder line my shoulder measurement divided by 2 I mark it here so that my arm hole line can be straight so that's it so I'm going to I'm going to draw this line here now okay, let me just draw it across So this is our chest line. This is our chest line. Now to make our hammo curve, to divide this this line, this hammo line, this seven and a half, we divide it by two. Divide it by two. Seven and a half divided by two. So this is it. We just find the midpoint of this line, the midpoint of the line of the hammo line. To make your hammo curve. You find the midpoint of the ham hole line. You place your tape through and divide what you have by two. Just make it a dot on that place and come in by one inch. So this is one inch, right? Now I want to make the ham hole curve. So I will connect it upward with a straight line and I will connect it to the hand with a curve. So that's it. That's our hammo curve for the front pattern. All right. As you can see, our basic body is looking good already. So the next thing I will do here is to rule out my dark line. So to do that, it will be my bust palm measurement divided by two. So my bust palm measurement is seven inches divided by two will be three and a half. So on my bust line, I'm going to mark three and a half. Likewise, on my waist line, three and a half. So on the bust line, I will come down by one inch. Come down by one inch from the bust line and I will connect straight to my waist line. So this is our dark line. The next thing I will do now is to mark half of an inch on both sides of this line, of the dark line. Half of an inch on both sides of the dark line. And I will connect straight to this point. And that is our dart. That is our dart. All right. So the next thing we are going to do here is to input our measurement. So I will input my bust measurement on the chest line, not on the bust line, on the chest line. So my bust measurement divided by divided by four is nine inches. My bust circumference is thirty six divided by four is nine. So as you can see, this is 9 inches on my chest line. And on the waist line also, my waist measurement is 29. 29 divided by 4. Let me, let me do that on my tape rule. 29. So I'm trying to divide it into 4 on my tape rule. Okay, so that's it. So this is it. This is my weight measurement divided by four. So remember we taking half of an inch on both sides of this line which make one inch. So I'm going to be adding that one inch again. This is the exact place. This is the measurement plus this one inch that we have already taken away. Remember that is going for the dart. 
So I'm going to be adding the one inch here. So this is it. Now I'm going to connect it to the chest line. So that is it. This is our front pattern. We are almost done. We are like 90% done with the front pattern. So the next thing I want to do here, I want to input our underarm that. Underarm that. So to do that, you go to you find your bust point. This is my bust point. Remember, three and a half from the center front. This is my bust point. So on this bust point, I will go in by one inch. So this is one inch from the bust point. And here, so to do this, I need to calculate the difference between my front half length and my back half length. So the difference between my front half length and my back half length is one inch. Added bin is two inches. I'm going to input the two inches here as the dart. But my own is one inch. So I'm going to be marking the one inch here. So I will connect it to the point I made. So that is it. That is our underarm dart. And this is our waist dart. Now we are done with the front pattern. Yes, we are done. Now let's move to the back pattern. Let's move to the back pattern. So the first thing I'll be doing also is to impute my measurement. My shoulder to bust is 10.5 and my shoulder to weight for the back is 14 and not 15 inches. Remember I told you that I have one inch difference. 10.5 and 14 inches. Now I'm going to connect this together to make a straight line. I'll connect this as well. So this is my bust line and this is my waist line. So the next thing I'll do is to impute my shoulder measurement, which is seven and a half. Seven and a half. So seven and a half. So to make this low, I will only come down by half of an inch. If you can remember on the on the front pattern I came down by one inch but on the back pattern I'm coming back by half of an inch so I'll come down by half of an inch I'll come down so my neck width is three inches just like the front pattern while my neck depth is one inch so remember we are making the basic body pattern here. So if you are, if you want to alter it to your to any tie you want, you can actually change the neck neck depth. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will be using one inch. And if we are making another, if we are making a dress out of this, actually we can actually change it. So on this channel, we are going to be making a lot using this pattern. So we are going to be making a lot. So we can actually change it to any, any length that we want. So here, I will come down by half of an inch, just like I told you, that's it. So I'll be connecting the... I'll be connecting the shoulder slope. So this is our shoulder slope. And here, to get the curve, I will need to measure the front, which is eight and a half. The chest line at the front is eight and a half from the shoulder line, from this line. So I will also mark eight and a half here and connect it together. I'll also mark eight and a half. And let me check also if this is seven. 
it actually falls on seven and a half. So if you are wondering the reason why I have to check here, how, why I have to check this measurement also. You know our shoulder measurement is seven and a half. Seven and a half, which is my shoulder measurement divided by two. So making this line, I check here also so that I can have a straight line. And I won't place it on the wrong direction to so have a straight armhole line. So here to make my ammo curve, I'm going to divide this line by two as well, just like I did here. So this is the midpoint. And I will go in by half of an inch. Remember the front pattern, it was one inch. But here, just go in by half of an inch, which is just right and perfect. So I connect up straight up and I will use my curve to connect it down to the hand. So that's it. That's it. The next thing is to roll our dart line on the our dart line. So my bust power measurement divided by two is three and a half. I roll it on my waistline and on my bust line. So here I'll just connect it together. I don't need to come down by one inch on the bust line. So on the waistline, I will mark half of an inch on both sides and connect it together just like I did for the front pattern. So that's it. So the next thing now is to input my measurement which is 9 inches 36 divided by 4 9 inches and on the weight on the weight it was 7 7.25 yes yeah, 7.25 plus this 1 inch it will be 8.25 plus our dark intake remember I told you and the front pattern so that's my measurement. So that's it. That's it. So, as you can see, this is the front pattern. This is the back pattern. This front pattern is one inch longer than the back pattern, which we have already put the one inch at the underarm dart. So by the time you we cut out this one inch, you discover that the they are accurate already, so one will not be longer than the other. So the last thing I would like to do on this, my back pattern, just wash me on my waistline, I'm marking half of an inch here, and I will connect it straight up. So what is now my essence of doing this? This will actually help to eliminate the back bulge, the bulge at the back of our dress. So this will help to eliminate it. So that is, we are cutting this away. So we are done here. I think we are done. So this is the back pattern. No, this is the front pattern. Why this is the back pattern? This is it. I hope you understand very well. And if you have any question for me, please drop drop it at the comment section. Drop it at the comment section and please help me to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I post tutorials and also share with your friends, like, comment and thanks, thanks for watching. We have come to the end of the video. Thank you and see you in my next class. Thank you.